lonely 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 so very lonely so very lonely Lonely, lonely music good evening ladies and gentlemen it's 10 p.m it's thursday night it's the meetup with me rishlu bonwa first on the greets everybody i haven't been here for a few weeks and that has been my bad so lindley dirksen i see you got the thumbs up hello cousin i haven't seen you in ages i'm happy to see you welcome to the meetup uh chantel twiggy ganesh welcome twiggy uh garrett koski Pulling out the old classics, yeah, bruh. You know these numbers, yeah. <laughs> these numbers are the ones. Um, I saw your, I saw your um thing, bruh. Your little video clip you sent me. You know I don't reply to DMs, <laughs> but but it's dope, bruh. I like the visuals. Uh, Kelly's in the house. What kind, cuz? Long time. And Novi Governor, how's it? Says Novi. I'm not sure if we've met before, Novi. Uh, I'm Rishlu. and this is the meetup. So this usually happens every Thursday, but I think I've missed like the last three weeks um i have been doing actual life brah so i've been i've been out in the world i've been um i've, I've been doing gigs uh i don't know if the sound is right tell me if the sound is right because i don't know I've, i haven't done it in three weeks and my sound my mic is doing its own thing uh hi melanie tarimani welcome and who else juliet jacqueline olivier um long time but i, I was a wall i i had the last the last person i had was bird and then it was low shading and then the following week so have low shading and i canceled my show and guess what zero low shading you know what's worse it's worse i don't know what's worse it, like low shading was is bad but it's worse when you expect to be low shaded and then you don't and now you're waiting to be shed that's worse because now I'm scared. I don't know. Like I must have plugged my phone in. I feel like if I plug my phone in, it's going to cause load shading. So I'm sitting here just waiting for load shading to happen. It never ever happened. And then I was doing uh, did some live gigs. So if you're in Joburg, feel free. You can more than welcome. We've been doing outdoor gigs, which is dope. So there's been people coming out. And um, you know, people say, you know, when you do something for long, long enough time, it's, you think you can do it like normal. It's like riding a bike. It's not like riding a bike. The only thing that's like riding a bike is, um, I think riding a bike. Like, I don't even know why people use that analogy, like riding a bike. Because like, I've been performing for the last, I've been like, the, since the last few weeks. And I've been performing with everybody in comedy that, you, that you've seen. Big names, small names, medium-sized names. And everybody's on the same thing. We forgot a little bit. <laughs> we forgot. Because like, you do the, like, hello, Talisha, my sister's here. Long time no see. See, I made the C's into glasses. Amazing. Um, because like we haven't been like you know, we're still doing we, like when you do we're doing comedy, or whatever, you're on stage, you're performing, you're having a fun time, and you're doing it all the time, and you get into this mode of you know the ideas. So, like for me, I I have ideas, right? And ideas become jokes, and ideas sit in my head all the time. And then when you say it a few times, it becomes like a joke, and then you know the ins, you know the outs, you can add parts in if you like, you can take parts out if you want to. But if you haven't been doing it a long time, you forget, brah. You forget. You're telling the joke. Oh, oh, oh. And now you're really telling jokes because you're only trying to do is remember the ideas you used to have. 
and you're saying you're saying jokes like you'll be saying uh then you start saying parts that don't, don't make sense like you say the middle part at the end and then you're like oh fuck i said the end i said the end oh shit and then your brain is saying oh no gosh you said the, like you, you know you say the punchline too early like the fun the punchline is supposed to be and there were two fat chicks in the back of the car and you just thought of your joke by saying, so there's two fat chicks in the back of a car, and you're like, oh, shit, fuck, that was the N-word. And now you have to make up a story about two random chicks in the back of a car. And it was like, what? That doesn't even make sense. Or I've been saying, you've been, you, like, you do a bit, and you forget the key elements of that bit. That's what I find has been happening with, with me. And also with other acts. And you, for, and you also check, you forget the energy. Because you, you know, like when you're doing comedy, you have to have a certain energy for a certain idea, right? Um... So you got to so like if the if the jokes about like like a happy thing you have like this happy energy or whatever and you and the energy matches the idea and people they they latch onto that energy and everybody goes along with it but now you forget the energy of the certain idea you know what I mean now you're talking about death but you're too happy or you're talking about happy things but you're too sad or you're too you're too in the people's face but it's supposed to be like a friendly thing so um, I've I've noticed that we've been everybody's been working on their on their timing on their presence um so i've been <laughs> so i've been trying to i've been out there trying to do the things um craig g is in the house my man always always he played a number that just took me back but i you know that um janet jackson remember janet jackson came to dublin and i don't know if we went to that 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 thing that thing was crazy the concert was there at the, at the usual spots which was um the king's park and it burst the rain remember it was pouring with rain and that, that's one of the concerts I won't forget. I went to, I've been to a lot of concerts, but that one day it stood out, bro, because I got there by myself. Two, I got there with a friend of mine, Joe Boy, and myself and Joe Boy landed there at the concerts. Two men, we didn't know who we were gonna meet up with. Nothing. We just stood there. I uh, went to the bar. I bought, we bought uh, four. How many can you carry? You can each carry four, right? So we bought eight of those jugs, right? So we bought eight jugs, and we were in the, we walked into eight jugs, and while we were there, in, in the thing. Um, uh, we had decided our eight jugs was basically that because we don't want to go up and down to the bar. We got our eight jugs, and my other brother came there, and Lester Oliver, if he's not here because my brother don't support my shit, <laughs> he was there, and he came with um, you know those sachets that you get, and you put them. You know those sachets they come in wh whiskey, they come in uh, brandy, and I think vodka. That's all, and that was all that was in that thing, right? There's no labels. It's got a picture of two pigeons. It's like a juba. So there's two pigeons on there. So he came with those sachets. And when he got there, there was like, now now crew went from two to about, say, six of us. But the thing is, he came with the extra dop. So what we did is, instead of just drinking the beer out of those things, we took each one here. He gave us, we all took the sour dops now. So we took the sachets, each one. We put a whiskey, 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 whiskey. Brandy, 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 brandy. Vodka, vodka, vodka in each of those tumblers that you get there, and we topped them up with beer. So those eight beers that we bought, that was all we really needed. Eh? Like it, it got out of hand. Like my brother took beer, you know, because some people can't drink. He picked up a jug and he threw that plastic jug into the crowd. And out of let's say three thousand people, I don't know, it hit this one brown the head, and this brother turns around to see who did it. And when I look at that bra, it was my uncle. <laughs> <laughs> my old stadium of people, bro. the old road jacket hit my uncle on the head because my uncle was tall, right? He's not here, I don't know if he's here, but he's normally here. So if you hear Jomo, remember that David, oh, he threw the jug on your head, it was David. David threw the jug, and when he looks around, he's trying to scan, like, where could that jug have come from? Because he kind of had an idea, and he looked there and he saw me, and he's like, What? He's like, What happened? I'm like, Hey, he also throwing jugs, come. And he started talking with us, but then when they started pissing the rain, it was dope, bro. And Craig and she's reminding me they threw another, they pulled another brown stage. I remember that they pulled a brown stage and she was like giving him a lap dance, which is weird, bruh. Like a lap dance is weird where nobody's watching. <laughs> a lap dance on a stage in front of five thousand people, and now you must know, my man. Who wants to know? So that bra he did his lap dance, and then everyone was cheering, and he was like, uh, I don't know. Because the thing is, they always pull up the weirdest hoes. Have you noticed that? Like when you go, when you see an hoe getting pulled up in a concert, always like, hey, you don't know this, bro. That probably looks like he can rob you. You <laughs> know, like you can leave with that gold chain that you're wearing in your chalice. Um, you know, the chalice check that 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 was a that was a, a off ramp, what I like to call an Allendale, which is the first off ramp you see when you come to Joburg. Um, so I have I have a guest. This guy, 
Um, I've been performing for him, with him for years. And the thing is, when you perform or when you get on stage, you always be, like, if you're a new comic, for example, you always stay a new comic. Like, for me, some people are always new comics. They don't ever become, they just stay in new comics forever. I think for me, I think some people see me and they're like, hey, this is dude, nah, it's a new comic. So it's hard. It's always, you're always a new comic when you're a comic. Um, okay, I didn't load the ones. I forgot to load the ones. Uh, let me see if I can find some sort of sound for him to bring him on. Uh, there we go. Let's make some noise from in the bottom here. It's Mr. Eric Janssen. Put some claps in the things there. Chaklas, Chaklas. Oh, see Chaklas right now. Oh, Chaklas. Hey, Chaklas, Chaklas. Chaklas, Chaklas. My chair. Chaklas, Chaklas. I tell you the truth. I love that song, bro. I that love that song. fire. I love it. There's some claps in the comments there. Can you see the comments? Oh, yeah, you on? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I checked the comments. There's some comments coming in. Oh, uh, ladies quiet. and gents, this is Eric Janssen. He is the... It's full screen. The fairest. You know, I used to think I was fair, right? You know, in my whole life, I was going around. People are like, hey, you it's fair. Hey, you know, you <laughs> fair. When I met her with this, bro, I was like, you. <laughs> Most fair. Fairest of them all. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> 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 you know, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> they're like, yes, we found it's it. this, bro. <laughs> 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 oh, are you yelling me fine before we carry on? Because hey, I'm are you a lot of happy? connectivity issues. Okay, now, Shab, if you can hear me, I'm happy. Now, I'm like, man, how are you doing? Hundred percent, hundred percent. I haven't seen you. I haven't seen you since 2019. Now is it 2000? Yes, the last time I saw you was probably Parker's. Was it Parker's? Yeah, hey. it could have been Parker's. Or didn't I come to your house for dropping something or for fetching something? Also, or we came to there to write. Something happened, but I know it was in the vicinity of your home. Because by the time we lost to each other, we didn't have our podcast anymore either. <laughs> we were just <laughs> we we're just sort of going through the motions of life. Seven so CDs is like 2019, bruh. Yes. That's, and it's, nah, it's too long. I must book you. I must I must put you on actually. <laughs> we, we, <laughs> trying to get into the gig space yeah. so you can yeah, see. I'm down, I'm down. I've been sending people yeah. WhatsApp. Weird. <laughs> I'm trying to ask people. Please, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, ah, come please. on, man. Don't be like this. <laughs> come through, one, man. One, yeah. Man. Wow. Don't be like this. But, but it's been fun, though. I've been having some, we've been having some cool gigs, which is fun. Ah, that's like uh, that's um, like and you, what have you been? How, you were, you were, you were a girlfriend during lockdown, right? That, I remember. Yes, I remember. We actually. literally, we literally started dating. What was it like two days before the lockdown? The so Saturday then, before, because the, the, the Thursday was the first official 21 days. Yeah, that was the day that we started joining that Saturday before we made it official. And then, yeah. It was it a good idea? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, look, this is the thing I've, 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 I've said to her a bunch of times and to a bunch of people. If your relationship can survive lockdown, ah, she's even laughing because I'm at her place now. Because I'm not even at home. Like, I'm wow. chilling at her place. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of puri? Puri's in the house. The thing is, you, you say you can like my brother's uh, name is Puri. Sorry, it's weird. I'll tell you a story just now. Um, yeah. The thing is, you saying if you survive, if your if your relationship can su- survive a, a, a lockdown, but yeah, because only lockdown. No, but this is the thing. This is the thing. If you started like, let's say you were like in that two months, you know the honeymoon phase, and then lockdown, then it's gonna be blind because then. You're going to be stuck in that honeymoon phase until such a point where you can start seeing each other and start going out and everything can, you know, naturally transpire. So in that time during lockdown, it's like a, it's a difficult phase, but it's not dating per se. So for if you get what I'm saying. So for I me, did. it was like, we started dating and then I didn't see her for, what was it like two, three months. And then, yeah, from there, we like saw each other regularly. <laughs> If they started dating on the Saturday, then lockdown happened on the on the Tuesday or whatever, and then you and then you didn't see her that whole time for like those two, three months. Is that what you're saying? So yeah, the first twenty-one days I didn't see her. And then it was she's giving commentary from 
where she's chilling on Instagram saying we weren't together for two months. So yeah, it was basically like two months and then she like came to stay okay. with us. Cause... So for you, so the question for you is not can you survive lockdown, it's can you survive normal life? <laughs> <laughs> this is the new normal. That's what it is. The yeah, new normal. I, I, say it's the new, I, I hate that new so normal. It's so, it, what, what do you mean? What do you even Bro, mean? You know, just say no. Yo, make wearing your make wearing your mask second nature. I can't. Putting Imagine. a thing over is not second nature. It's not second nature. You know, okay. there was a time, there was a time, I don't know if you remember when I was doing the Spartan prices, I always wore neck puff because I'm like, this is going to look so cool in pictures. And then I had it over my face when I saw photographers. Now it's like, yeah, that wore off very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Because I started, to I actually was starting to shop for the mask, you know, the normal mask, probably yeah. about maybe about two years ago, because I flew to Durban and I got sick, and then I looked and I noticed that the Asian people always wear that thing. Then I yeah. was like, you know, maybe they want to something. Yeah, no, maybe- no, no. I was in I was in China in twenty, what is it, twenty thirteen, with my brother and my dad, and then already there was like some disease that was floating around there. You walk around, you see people wearing the surgical mask, but it's got like Hello Kitty, it's got like designs, it's graffiti, what, what. And I was like, I was confused because I'm like, why are these people wearing masks? And then my brother's like, nah, they had the first version. So this is like early, this is like COVID-1 or COVID-2 or something. The SARS, the initial SARS, yeah, the initial SARS virus. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then they were like, these people are afraid of this virus. Apparently it catches you randomly and it's not deadly, but it's a worse inconvenience. So I was like, oh, okay, that's nice. But I didn't buy a mask because, I mean, I was in the train. <laughs> no, I just, I went to buy a suit and I came home. If you have Hong Kong suit. <laughs> yeah, it's literally made in China. I saw them make my suit. They measured me and they're like, we're going to make it for just here. You find yeah. it. Sure. Like if you buy a Yugo boss, there's just, too, there's just a bit too much space between you and go. You know what I mean? <laughs> Go. <laughs> <laughs> they literally wrote you go boss <laughs> <laughs> but that's I, funny the Chinese I was actually make they actually make uh, like um, fitted Levi's and stuff there right you can literally go to yeah, a tailor yeah, and they'll yeah. make Levi to your yeah, actual so what, what happened was my uh, brother flew he flies well he used to I can't say flies anymore because he used to fly for SA. Still trying to fly for SA, but <laughs> they stopped that nonsense. <laughs> yeah. So in my matric year, he was like, do you have a suit? Do you have an idea for a suit or whatever? So I showed him what my idea was. And then we sourced like places here and they were charging us too much. And he's like, I get like a Mursa rebate on tickets. Don't you just want to go have your whole suit made from scratch? So I was like, all right, cool, let's go. I thought he was going to take me to like the plaza. This brother was like, China. Oh, okay, sure. So then we were there for about five, six days. It was one of his flights. He like he was, I think, second officer or something. He flew <clears throat> a certain leg of the flight, but that's not important. Uh, yeah, we got to China. We were there for like six days. Went sightseeing, did everything. And on the first day that we were there, we just went to the market and they sized me up. They did everything. The third day, the suit was ready. And... Yeah. And we're cheaper than going to Sanson. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, the suit actually ended up costing something like 700 Rand in our currency because that time the Rand and what is the currency? The Chinese, what is it? The yen or something? The RMB, whatever it was called, was like one to one. So essentially, I paid 700 Rand for a tailor made suit. Yo, I, only, I didn't even know. I actually, yeah, I only wore that suit twice. I wore it to my Madrid dance and then to the first Comics Choice Awards because that's the last time it put foot on my body. That's it, bro. <laughs> I, have my, I have my suits in these built-in cupboards behind me just I... waiting for the day. Just waiting. <laughs> <laughs> what the every, these every, suit, yeah. every suit I've had has had two shinings. The first time when I bought it, the second time when it was almost small for me. And then I was just Ooh. like, okay. I'll just remind people I wore I wore this red suit on this day. I wore this one to Comics Choice. I wore this track suit yesterday because it's still fits. <laughs> well, I think the last time I wore my uh, so I have a suit and I have a few jackets, right? And then I went 
I went to a, I went to a corporate thing and I felt compelled now because of the way they were the way they were communicating with me. I was like, hey, this feels like a, a thing where I have to wear like a jacket. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then I started digging through my suits, bro. Like I'm like, <laughs> I'm throwing all of them on, and I'm like, but I, I had to choose the one that is the biggest okay. of the smallest. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. It, it like close. which one? Which one is not gonna like stay in the middle if I do this? Why do I need to do this? No one knows. <laughs> if I do this, it's Yo. the back gonna be fine. <laughs> my bow tie was choked like my. <laughs> That's funny. The bow tie was here. Yeah. Yeah. Those are my only thing. I took Like you can't nervous. Just... <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. Everything is yourself. Uh, the... Doing this the whole time, like, is this how people roll? That's like, funny. Oh, Why are you doing this with a suit? Okay, somebody there said they want to see photos, so I'm just gonna scroll for this photo quickly because I saw it recently. Also, like I said, I used to I used to do masks in Spartan races. That's the one picture. Look at that. Look at me being a trendsetter before a trendsetter. Yeah, like you, bro. yeah, no, that's how beautiful it is. Uh, Let's see, there's another color, one. You're wearing a watch at that moment. Were you wearing a watch? <laughs> That's yeah, a it's, one of, it's one of these smart watches, man. They were testing <laughs> my ability to be smart while running. <laughs> and then, yeah, this was the suit. And the car behind it is the color that it was inspired by, made in China. I wore this pants once. It only fit me once. The next week, the pants was too small for me. <laughs> <laughs> and I have quite a couple of suits like that. Oh, yeah, this is a picture of it. Didn't make it thing where you can open it out. Yeah, this is my father and myself on the Great Wall of China. Oh, that's a great wall. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. I love it. Uh, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the normal picture as like a normal wall, but because it's a yeah. great <laughs> That wall's great, man. Look, look. Great wall. Like, <laughs> the sun is blasting. What's that? Um, in that picture, oh, no. You know? it, was in, it was winter. It was winter. March oh. between what is it, Feb and beginning of May is like their winter period. So when we got there, it was the time that I think the snow had just melted. Apparently, the week before we came, the lowest temperature temperature was like minus seventeen. We got there the night we landed in China it was minus nine. Minus seventy. Seventeen one seven. Oh, okay, that's degrees Celsius. Because you must always be clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. Yeah, no, it was, it was, it was, it was fucking cold. It was, yeah, like they open the door and the door, the door is like, <laughs> no man, you know when they open the plane door and then there's like that gap between outside world and then the door and the passage of that tunnel that you must walk through. Yeah, bro, it's warm. Then all of a sudden it's like, you know when you open the butcher's when they open the butcher's freezer and you see that, yeah, the the door, it was like the eyes, bro. Eyes. We chilled in the airport for like 30 minutes because they were like, it's too cold for people to go outside. Um, your bus will come and park against the building. We thought they were joking. Bus literally came like this far from the building because they were like, people are not supposed to get cold in China. And a Chinese person was driving with us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the most confusing part. You come from a country where there's a, a, a fair amount of diversity and you expect, okay, maybe this would be this part. Pra- pra- everybody. Everybody. Everybody, it's just Chinese. Why are I? <laughs> it's like shit. This is crazy. I'm gonna take pictures. I did take pictures. I took pictures at Burger King. There's a Chinese guy working at Burger King. I'm gonna find that picture also. <laughs> it's like it's like when you first leave Turban. Like you know, like do you know like in Turban? Yeah. Like people don't, for example, work at the petrol station. Like I, I don't know, not one person. And my entire life in Durban, we have been to a petrol station and a colored... And it's bra. a bra you know. Even a bra oh. I don't know. Oh, Any I thought you meant a bra that you know. <laughs> you know like, bra, for some reason, I was in Durban, all decided at the annual colored meeting, maybe in 1943, they were like, listen, yes, guys. If ever we get an opportunity. <laughs> we will do whaler making. We'll go work at the... We'll pick up the dirt in the dirt trucks. But filling yeah. petrol in cars... No, fine. We are cool. Are petrol, or your children, yes. or your children's children. Nobody can fill petrol. So when you leave Durban, like when you first leave yeah. Durban, 
when I first went, I think, to Cape Town. So we went like the garden routes and you go through like Bloom and whatever. And you yeah, get yeah. to uh, is it Bo- Beaufort West just before you get there. That was my first time seeing colored, colored bras people. at the petrol station. Not even colored bras, colored woman bra. And normal color, like what you would, because not that look like when they finish, they're just going to put on their thing, <laughs> get into like their, their frilly tops. Yeah. And right. Bro, they look like the yeah. cashiers at Wiz, you know what I mean? They force yeah, yeah. their Mac, yeah. no Mac. Face <laughs> <laughs> beat. It's fun with the face beat. I don't know how to react. This girl coming to the window like, yeah, I'm like, hello. <laughs> you, what is it? <laughs> like, how much do you want? I'm like, what? Did I, did I park in your spot? Am I interrupting? Yo, bro. That's funny. Like, it wasn't a time of camera phones, but I was my mind was blown, bro. It's like, yeah. it's like you know, like scenes, it felt like I've seen seeing something that, that I've never seen before. It's very you know cool, what I've bro. you know what I've never seen now that you're mentioning petrol stations. I've never seen a guy put petrol wearing glasses ever. Ever. In my six, seven years <laughs> of driving, I've my man. I have not seen a single over the petrol station come to my window and he's wearing glasses and he wants to put petrol in my car. <laughs> not as <laughs> hey, bro. That's the weirdest observation ever, bro. No, but I promise you. I promise you. I've never. And I don't think you have and I don't think anyone in the comments has either. That's to this problem. day. I'm waiting to meet a pe- I'm gonna take a picture. If I find a petrol attendant that is wearing glasses, I will get out of my car and I'll take a picture. It's hilarious, I but have like, not seen a single petrol attendant wearing specs. That's it, bro. Like someone said this, like have you ever seen a colored um midget? <laughs> it's a very space thing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's not you don't see baby, bro. You, you go to the club. <laughs> you have to think really hard. <laughs> hey, bro, I'm buying into archives in my mind. I'm thinking you preschool days even because you know there was always that one person at the at the that worked in the preschool. <laughs> and they were like, they said it's nap time. Why are you allowed to walk around? Yeah, okay, you sleep. Yeah, which is always an older person. There's always an yeah. older. person. Bro, okay, yeah. I do also take back like people. I, I said midgets, I know midgets, it's also a, it's, it's, a, it's a derogatory it's term, a derogatory term. It's a, a, a little person, yes. And I've seen I've seen one or two colored little colored people. I have, I have, but I also yeah. know because I've probably seen one, <laughs> maybe one. I've seen no, now that I think about it, I've seen two. I've seen Donovan's double on that show that he did with Skumba and Pops. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> that's one. And I don't even know if that's actually a colored bra. Maybe it's just a white bra that's like very tan. From box box and then, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the second one, there was a guy that used to, wow, funny enough, used to work at a petrol station. No, 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 no. There's no glasses. He was just short. <laughs> and it, I always felt weird going to that petrol station because I'm like, how do you tell this man? It's actually a small guy <laughs> being a little person and just a short guy, yeah. <laughs> there's a, yeah, there's no, a... no, no, but he was he was he was proper, yeah, yeah. There's, <laughs> there's this much of a gap. It's here. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's a little bit right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is terrible. Just do it up, like just a little bit more. You'll just be a yeah. short person. But yeah, now yeah. you can't accept you now. now. You, now you've got little now you've got that little people <laughs> things. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's funny as hell. Because, <laughs> because, I always think, like you're saying, it's these observations, but that I, I also have the same thing. It's like when you when you see something or when you hear something, and you think to yourself, "That's my first time someone has ever said that to me," or "That's yeah. my first time seeing that type of a person," or like, but I'm like I, yeah. like I went to London. It was my first time seeing, um. A homeless guy who was a, like, you know, we don't have aggressive homeless people. Yeah. We have to a certain degree. Um, to a certain degree. 
they come to your window and they will be aggressive or they'll still mumble something and you'll be like, hey, and they'll, but never like a very clear English accent. Woke up, chose violence kind of guy, yeah. Just being aggressive, bro. So I was walking down the streets. It's very busy. <laughs> and people obviously are used to this because they were ignoring him, right? And it's always yeah. been kind of sounded like a church. You know when people do street street gospel? It sounded like yeah. that. With someone where they just burst out. Like if you walk in, it's go, brother, why you, brother, why you? And when you look yeah, at yeah. them, they go, this is in your life. Like, they are totally just doing that thing. Oh, yeah, oh, so yeah. I was kind of for that. But now, started getting closer. Like, I checked out. There's someone talking loud, but there's nobody standing in the vicinity on, yeah doing like a performance and as soon as i got close i looked over and then i looked down and i saw him sitting on the ground oh bro my man went straight at me he was like, like, he like hey bro why are you looking why are you looking at bro why are you looking at and i'm like is this, is this, is this talking to me <laughs> yeah because like there's a lot of people, right? yeah yeah like take a minute, a minute. Just stop for a minute. Just give me a minute of your time. Let me. Then I said, like, "Oh shit, this is this guy's begging, but so aggressively." Yeah. <laughs> so really he's he's taking the hustle seriously. Yeah, bro. And it's my first time. You know, when I looked at him, I was like, "Oh shit, this guy is. He's the guy of this. This is. He's, this is his own. He's sitting on a cardboard box, and he's we, got like. Yeah, we, you know? we are in his house. Yeah, we are here yeah. with his boys. <laughs> yeah, he's got a bag. And he's got a little thing like the TV, like this year, like those bigger guys here on TV. And then I yeah. was walking away, bro. And you know the thing is, he knows. He, he knows he hooked me. <laughs> so as I'm crossing the road, and I'm looking at look back to be like, this guy, bro. And he's looking, and he's like, where you from, bro? Where you from, bro? I'm like, yo. <laughs> and I'm coming back this way. <laughs> yeah. Like, What's this, bro, again? <laughs> I'm going to use it on the other side. Because I know you he's going to run the block. <laughs> and he's going to come back, he's going to be like, there's he coming again. There he comes. I'm yeah. Gonna, nah, nah, nah. Uh, Speaking speaking of homeless uh, homeless men, sir, there was uh, there was an incident I had not even long ago, it's like two three weeks ago. Uh, we had leftovers and I was on the way home, so I kept it in the car because I'm like I'm not gonna eat the food. We had enough last night. The food is like a, can just give it to somebody that needs it more than us. And uh, I pull up to the red light and I see this brother, this brother standing like he's in the middle of the street. He's here. He's here. Like you know when. You, who looks bored, he's tired of begging. It's eight o'clock in the morning, he's already here. He's like, I'm done. Bro, I pull up, I open the window, I give him the food. The bra just looks at me. I'm like, my man, I'm giving you food. He looks at me. I'm like, do you want the food? What's going on? Light turns green. There's no cars behind me. So I'm yeah, I'm I'm locked in now because we've made we I'm making intense eye contact. But it's like, bro, like it- is he trying to take the food or are you holding he's, the food out? Bro, he's literally doing this. His one hand is in his pocket, the other hand is here. So I'm think, thinking this bro is going to be like, sharp thanks. And then I can drive off. Bro, death day. He's just... I'm like, dog, here's food. I'm like, do you want the food? No, are you cool? Then he goes... Walks away. I was like, hey. <laughs> Do I fight him now? Or do I leave him? <laughs> 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 yeah, maybe I offended the hipster that morning. That bra was cuck up said brewing coffee. <laughs> You'll never believe how they tried to give me food in a plastic container. And the more I'm waiting for food, I give you a meal. A vegan. A vegan. Ah, that's funny. Aggressive, bro. Like hella aggressive, the way he dragged me through his teeth, everything. I was just like, I felt like you know when you're like, I need to do good now, but the person you are trying to do good with is the person who offended you now. How, what, what am I? What must I do? Must I go kick a child? Yeah, what must happen? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. I the one day I went, I was on my way to to the box, right? Remember yeah, in yeah. Mabone? Hey, hey, yeah, the, I remember, I remember the Rustin Bank, right? Yeah. There's a vitzer with the beard. Do you remember that? Oh. Yeah. He, he I don't know if you can remember him. He was he was always there. He'd walk up and down, teeth to all Yeah, the brother was trying to go to Rustenburg. He wanted money for shelter eventually. He changed that from guy. Rustenburg to shelter. Yeah, I remember. That guy. So I got the one day, bro. I'll never forget this day. I was hosting the box. And yeah. that day I, I had a, I had a, I had a every day. I went to I went to church in the morning, Sunday morning. 
And from church, I phone my brother. I'm like, because I know he comes to church as well. I'm like, yo, bro, where, I miss you. Where are you? Because the church is big there. Yeah. He says, you know, bro, I'm here by um, Social on Main. We're going to eat some lunch. You know, yeah. Social on Main, is just, it's a bar. Yeah, to stay up the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice chows there, but so I go there, and so I land there at about say half past twelve, so, and mm. bra, half past twelve, but we got there. I left there at half past five, like quarter to six, just so I can get ready to go to the box. And the whole time we were there, we were in bra shooters. Uh, what's those? Uh, the Jackie, uh, the yo bra, we went. In, I was, we were, it was like my part, I was having like my part day, my man. We we're having a great time, great yeah. day, great day, great day. And I'm like, hey, I'm hosting the box, bruh. Gotta run. Shoop. He's like, Bradley, coming with you, bruh. Let's roll. We go together. I come home. Oh, oh I remember this day with you and no Brad's. Brad's yeah. is there where he kept deep in his head like this. Deep. Deep. <laughs> yeah. He tries to the box. Then, just when I'm leaving home, Brad says to me, hey, bro, uh, you always make always drive you always drive your car, which is a big lie. I don't ever make people drive my car. I was car. just gonna say this is a ploy to get him to drive your car. <laughs> <laughs> but I hear you. Then he's like, I'm like, cool, I'm like, cool, bro. Drive to town. Stop. Yeah. Every time he drives. And we kick it out to Maboning. But we get to Maboning. This bro, you know when I was jumping out the car, because I'm jumping out the passenger side now. When I jumped yeah. out, bro, he came to me with the most happiest. Face, arms opened, gleefully. Like if I can move back and show you, bro. He was like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> <laughs> full elation. And I looked at him, and he was like, you know, when you get too close to a person, you become like a, like a tunnel vision, bro. I just yeah. my face just only tunnel. Only, only see his face, and you yeah. could see his arms. And I'm a hugger, bro. I'm such a hugger that. Like, if you wanted to trap me and rob me, if you wanted to rob me, just act like you're going to hug me and you can rob me. Like, <laughs> I'm that guy, right? This bro put his hands up. I put my hands up. He put his arms around me. I put my, I mean, I put my arms around me. Ah! <laughs> 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 ah! <laughs> And then he asked yeah. you for money to go to Rastan. But... <laughs> it wasn't even like a... <clears throat> it wasn't even like a small little, like... Even if... It was an embrace! <laughs> it was an embrace. It was a funeral embrace, bruh. It was one of those things. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Like, he was going to burst out crying. It was like that, bruh. <laughs> and as I, was, as I had him, as I was hugging him, you know, you, you always take in the person, right? You take the person in... Hey. Hey. His hair was here. His hair was here. His beard, his beard was like on the side of my neck, whatever. And, I took, and the smell just came in, bro. The smell came in. Then I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> wait one minute. This guy smells really, really, like really bad. Like, oh. And then, was, you know, in life, can get, like everything just came. Can... <laughs> you, you have a broad sense, eyes are open. The old say, double thumbs, and he walks. Yeah. And our prayers the whole time as we lock in the car, right? We pray, so prayers and looks at me, he goes, Who is it? I don't know why. I just, <laughs> no, I don't worry, bro. <laughs> you. I was like, nah, it's an old friend. Full and on like, Empress. And now I'm going to, I'm going to host. <laughs> I'm going to host the box. You know, host like, yes. So he left me with it, eh? You know, it's like, you. Yeah. left me with it. <laughs> I'm like, oh, Plus it's you on your neck. It is touching your face. Yeah, well, it you. Know. That's cock funny. The only thing is, I didn't tell prayers, bro. I don't even think I told you what happened to us today. <laughs> I just <didn't> say. <laughs> even and, nobody, and nobody, obviously, because you were at the box so early, nobody saw you. Like, this was early vibes. Not even I was there yet. Nobody saw, no, because you know, you're not right by the door. Just like, you know, just that little side road, then you get yeah. a park over that side road. Just oh. 
who would have seen a lot of people would have seen but it just so happened that it was so quick it was like we need yeah. a jump shot I was like, he was waiting for me. I was like, yay, bro, yo. I'm like, yo. <laughs> and I was like, yo. That's good. Like, everything. Like, you know, the embrace like, of life. Bro, was like, maybe like that's... Maybe, maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yo, that's you. Damn. Yo, that's our oh, no, man. Ah, oh, no. But I think it's day, though. I actually... You know when I played it back in my mind, I was like, you know what, I did a good thing today. <laughs> like, yeah, I, because I'm thinking now maybe that was just what he—that's just what he needed. Maybe he's in Rustenburg now. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> he made it. He's safe. Mask and all. He's there. <laughs> he's like, yo, but I don't, I, like, I was my last day. All I needed was a hug, uh, and, a farewell uh, hug, and this guy just embraced me. Did he? And did now, he like turn his head? And like rest his head on you also as you then the level. You did your face goes like a swear. I I am dead. I'm dead. I couldn't see his face, but I knew what his face was doing. I was like, this, uh, this is a close you get open eyes is- with a closed eye. <laughs> There was a yeah. closed eye. This was hanging with his eyes closed. Yeah, and I think my eyes were also about to so realize I'm and like, then, hey. And then a life dawned on you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, you know, the, the kid, you see me yaki. You see me yaki with me. I was like, yo. This is bad. Real bad. Yo. Yo. Like, I, could, yo bruh, I wish they smoked inside the box. <laughs> 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 you. Now I can smell it, Francine. I can smell it. It wasn't. It was bad, but it was like it was surprising you. because, you know, like I said, I'm a hugger. I'm a hugger. Like if if I was a bear in the woods and people just leave hug traps, <laughs> they leave hug traps around. I just walk into a hug. I'm trapped. Trapped. I'm I'm <laughs> yeah. So I got I got that was that was the that was that's what yeah. I, that was my experience with the uh, with the homeless guy that that's that stayed with me. <laughs> Like I'm, I think this is the first time I've really spoken about it, but it stayed with me. It's like I was just gonna say this feels like a moment of of I need to get this off my chest while we are here and the topic is rife. <laughs> no, I had I had one with, with uh, also at the box, but this is a new guy. Like you know, he's not the regular O that we've been seeing every week. Uh it was like a pally man. He came through, he was but he was like aggressive also, but aggressive in the way that your response is the thing that pissed him off. So we were standing outside. It was myself, Yasin, and I can't remember who, who the third O was. But we were like on the steps there outside with a pizza or so, outside chalkboard. So we're standing there. Yasin just bought a Coke. He was about to open his Coke. <laughs> and this brother comes and he's like, sorry to bother you guys. I just need some money because um, I need to get to the shell. He, he's funny story. He did his thing. So I go, hey, man, I don't have any cash on me. I can show you. Put my hands in my pockets. I took out my wallet. My wallet was literally just cards and my phone. Like I don't have. Maybe these guys can help you. Second brother just went, hey, you don't have. Pans. <laughs> Pans goes, hey man, I just used my last 12 rent to buy this cook. And then he opens it. Full on. <laughs> and the old guy looks at us and he goes, I away, away, away. I hope you choke. And he walks out. <laughs> He looked at Yasin in his eyes and he's like, I hope you choke. And then it just died. <clears throat> we stood there, we looked at each other. Yasin yeah. was like, I'm not going to drink this now. <laughs> I'm just going to yeah. wait. Because <laughs> the kind of go complete. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, that's a lot, that's a lot. And you can't fight a homeless guy, bro. That, but that's, that's the that. thing. That's it's, the thing. You can't. He's got nothing to lose. Literally. <laughs> like, Yo, this guy's a dick, bro. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> exactly. How you fight a homeless guy? What's wrong with you? <laughs> you upset. Uh, yeah, but... We haven't even spoken, we haven't spoken about anything. Let, let's talk a little bit. Uh, we only, we all, we always <clears> like, like 15 but, minutes. Shit. Okay, yeah. Go. That's fine. We can talk till we finish our stories. Uh, man, no way. <laughs> so you did... Yeah. Uh, so you did, When did you start comedy, bro? I what started year? in... 20, 
Oh shit! I started in 2014, seven years okay. ago. Yeah. Right. So you minus Actually, one. On COVID. <laughs> minus one year, yeah. So I've been doing comedy for six years plus one year gap. So right. seven years ago, next week actually, on the no, not next week, week after next, the nineteenth of April is my comedy anniversary. Oh, okay. And it, oh, yeah. It was, it was long enough because I got yeah. to job in two thousand and ten. So <clears throat> a couple of years. And oh, um, yeah. so what made you? What made what 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 was the thing for you? What made you get into uh, comedy? Uh, I'm the youngest, so obviously tension break at home. I was always trying to make jokes to compensate for like serious moments and. I don't know. I just always had a, a thing for just making the jokes, man. But it was always nice to make people laugh. It just felt nice. Like that was the thing I was chasing. And what made you? Tra- and then what? How did you transition from from? I always say cry around the pry. Cry around the pry is, is the standard standard definition yeah, yeah, of, yeah. of of doing jokes at home. Of the and initial what, comedian, what, yeah. How did you transition? So, what made you, uh, move <clears> next level I, to people. Uh, so funny enough, at what was I? I think I was 16, 15, 16, when I met Kiddy and CRB when they were still doing Emperor's Parker's Comedy and I think the Urban Nights. Yes, and Urban. that night, <clears throat> excuse me, that night Kiddy was like, yo man, if you're serious about comedy, phone me, message me, I'll let you know who to speak to. Then I wanted to start like that night already. Then my brother was like, nah, 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 finish school first. I right, cool. Then his bachelor party, we were at Parker's that night. Robbie, I think Robbie was headlining. And shit, don't remember who was hosting. But met Robbie that night. And Robbie was like, yo, man, if you have a tight five or whatever, hit me up. Come through to kitchen as you can do a five. And I started college, I think, two, like a month after that. And when I started college, I just messaged him, him and Kitty, to be like, yo, what happened? And then obviously, Kitty didn't reply because he's Kitty. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> Robbie was like, yo, man, if you want, I can give you a spot at Kitchener's. Just let me know when. So I was like, all right, cool. Didn't know where Kitchener's was. Didn't know anything about Joburg because, believe it or not, from Pogsburg. Uh, so I was like, man, fuck it. I'm not going to try that. Never mind. So I left it. I left it for like a good three months. Then ended up leaving college, started working at Spur. Then I was just like, nah. I needed to do this thing. The spur thing was real. <laughs> yeah, but I really wanted spur. No, so I went to <clears throat> my first night was a Thursday night. I was supposed to go to college the next day as well. And I was telling everybody at college, oh, I'm gonna go do comedy, I'm gonna go do comedy. And they're like, hey man, yeah, that's nice, that's nice, we'll come. And then naturally nobody came. And then yeah, the Friday I got to college and they were like, How was it? I'm like, guys, I don't think I'm gonna be here for much longer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go chase this thing. They're like, nah, 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 you're gonna be here, you're gonna finish and everything. I think I was there for another two weeks and I bounced. I was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna go be be funny. I'll see you guys. What Enjoy you, your what computer. Were you I was I till, till today, I still don't know. I have no idea. It was something in Microsoft uh, what is it? Network support. So I was meant to be the guy that helps you fix if like we were doing this and you were like, I can't connect to Eric's computer because Eric has a firewall that pre- I was supposed to be that guy to be like, okay, he doesn't have a firewall anymore. Oh, mm. yeah. Then so you're uh, gonna be, you're gonna be in the movies. In the movies, <clears> away, 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 away. I was gonna be that <laughs> point next. <laughs> just every movie, yeah, from the firewall <laughs> into the yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got everything. I'm drawing. I'm, I'm pulling the data. I was gonna be that guy. So then, <laughs> <laughs> then, yeah, I started working at Spur to have petrol money every night to go to gigs, and that's basically how it started. And, the rest um, is history, as would, they say. Do you, remember your first, do you remember your first time on stage? Yeah, Globe Theatre, Cold River City. Oh, yeah. It was oh, fire. Yeah. I, wash, I wore short pants. <laughs> <laughs> I had that no night. respect. I had no respect for anything that was <laughs> comedy related. Do I still have that picture? Sure, I do. Yeah, I look at that picture and I'm just like, I've come a long way, man. I've I've literally grown quite a bit. You played the globe and there was there was Parkers was running it, right? Yeah, there was still Parkers and Parkers still at Gold Reef City as well. And, and uh, yeah, man. Just from there we How was it? How was it was just this? Fine. Uh first set, obviously it was horrible, but I believed it was the best shit ever. Because I wrote <laughs> it. I was like, yo, this this is a hot five. I did five on the dot, which was which was perfect because 
Yeah, we just we for, hope for for new for new act to do on the dot. They always do either way short or way long. <laughs> they don't do Oza, on. Those are out here. Those are out here doing ten minutes and then coming to you afterwards, going, "Yo, I killed it." I'm like, "You had them for four minutes. You should have left." <laughs> but okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so do you remember the first time when you got a stage and it didn't go great? And it was just... the, the the very next week when I played Parker's Monte Casino. Oh, that night I was humble. Ooh, ooh, you know when you know when you're driving home and you don't even you stick to the speed limit. There's no music, and yeah. <laughs> the window is open, but only like this much, so you can but hear road noises and stuff. Like, <laughs> the whole time you're like, why did I tell that joke? Why yeah, yeah, yeah. did I speed to the punchline? Should I go back to Spur? <laughs> I never committed that value when I came on stage. You took my MC. And the thing <laughs> is, it's, like, I remember the one day uh, I, I was at the Orbit. And I always yeah. went to the Orbit, bro. I love the Orbit. And oh, the one I didn't day, even play the Orbit. Hey, there's the picture. I didn't have... Was this your was that first time? That was my first time. Yeah, wait, let me just put brightness down because it's missed. No, wait, that message is not bad. It's so weird because the camera is like reversed. So yeah, I wore this. There you were in your knickerbockers, high Aish. tops and socks. Aish, I was <laughs> trendy. Like, like, trendy. Like I, was, I was at at, at, at the orbits and the same thing happened. I was chilling in the back. You're chilling in the balcony the whole time, watching comedy. There's a band. The band is supporting the acts. It's a dope time. And yeah. then it's my sense of pop. Confidence. I'm happy. I'm chilled. When I went up, I I, I tripped over the mic cable or something, or there's so many yeah. cables. All the equipment is cables are all running in front of the stage, and it's more area yeah. to play in. You must stand between like the drum, in front of the drum, the drum yeah, is yeah. on. So when I get up, my first time, that is like the drummer's there, everyone's sitting behind me, and the drummer was, was sitting with me outside, and he was like, Yo, but I can't wait for you to come up. What, what, what. Now, when I come up and I look at him, I'm like, Yo, but I. Yeah, I don't know. Now you know I almost fell. <laughs> he's he's looking I'm, at you like this from behind the yeah. head. He's just here. Okay. I don't know. Give me a beat, guys. I don't know what to do. <laughs> no. okay. hey, the, still the same. Nobody cares, bro. Everyone's just looking at me. Then I'm like, ah oh, shit. Oh anyway. <laughs> you know what you're like. <laughs> and the more I'm trying to talk, the more I'm trying to think of not falling. And yo, bro, I couldn't get into I couldn't do anything. I couldn't That's think of Yes, yes. Blame. And, and I'm selling my I'm selling my jokes like I'm talking now. And then um, and then yeah, and then and then you know yeah. too and then yeah. like thanks. <laughs> thanks. Segways, segways and setups, but no punchlines. Nothing, bro. You know, like <laughs> straight down this off the stage, get my keys, straight down the stairs. <laughs> Into the car. <laughs> I mean, sorry, boss is cause fine, like if tech. <laughs> 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 yeah, that was a like, oh, bro. I'm telling them, no, oh, oh, I left. Mr. Mickey, so I left same time, <laughs> but I also think you're on stage. The last time they saw you on stage, now I'm driving. <laughs> Go on, bro. You're ready, <laughs> you're ready. Eating my clue, <laughs> I'm eating there. The clue, Ellen Dale, I'm moving. <laughs> Yeah, you walk in the house and you just start pouring whiskey. Pour it. No ice, nothing. You just pour it in the glass. Yeah. Full glass. <laughs> and you're looking out the window, but it's dark. It's nighttime. You're just looking out the window. <laughs> and you start singing my walk on for no reason. <laughs> that's funny. Hey, that's fun. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> No, I just let I just let the giggle. <laughs> <laughs> you even forget you have the glass. You just let from the bottle. <laughs> like a cow, yo, bro. <laughs> Did you try to sleep the whole time, lady? Pay thinking. <laughs> Why did I even do that, but Why? <laughs> Why did uh... I even? Did I look at him? Why did you even write that? That is a bad idea. Then the next day, you're like, okay, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> you know, overreact. <laughs> Maybe I was a little bit, I was a little bit dramatic yesterday. 
Yo, yo. Ah, but I've, I've had that before. That 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 thing hurts. You see, and there's a different way of dealing with it. So when you knew that thing, oh, it hurts. Yo, it hurts like yeah. Hey, and then I think it was like three or four years in. I got a no wait. Yeah, it was three years. In, three years. In. I I wouldn't say I got a gig. I was replaced. Someone was supposed to do this gig, and then they phoned last minute, and they're like, "Are you available?" So I was like, "Oh wait, shut. What's the business?" They're like, "Nah, it's a music event. Um, there's gonna be a lot of young people. It's gonna be cool. Just uh, you're gonna rock up. You're gonna play. You're gonna do like 10, 15 minutes. And yeah, don't worry. It's nothing, nothing crazy. Just do your business. I'm like, and what am I wearing? My like, clothes. Nah, like, man, just go to the golf shirt, jeans. You'll be fine. Shut. <laughs> yeah." Yeah, the day of the gig. Where's the gig happening? No, no, no. At uh, what, what, what building is that? Unisa. Ah, no, sharp, no, no, sharp, sharp, sharp. I Pretoria. Drive, I, yeah, I get to Pretoria. Fly in. You know, when you walk into an auditorium and you hear an orchestra playing, and you're like, okay, maybe my gig is in the building next door. <laughs> mm. Mm. My man, I'm wearing other green and orange golf shirt. I'm wearing loud sneakers. I'm wearing a stone wash chain. You know, looking like the streets, man. You look like a comedian, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I walk into this auditorium. They're like, sorry, who are you? I'm like, no, I'm Eric Hansen. They're like, oh, you're the performer. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, oh, oh, okay. He gives me a program. On the program, it's classical music, it's orchestra, it's opera. And jazz. The jazz was finished by the time I got there. So I didn't even hear the jazz music. My performance is after the opera. While they're clearing the stage, I must go on and I must tell jokes. If I'm coordinator comes to me. Yeah, while they're moving stuff. <laughs> event coordinator. Event coordinator comes to me. He's like, uh, don't worry about uh, the guys on stage. You must just do your thing. But to give them enough time to move like most of the stuff, you're going to do your first 10 minutes like in the middle of the auditorium don't worry they'll light it up for you so they can see you nicely and everything so you'll be fine and then at about 10 minutes you can just like walk onto the stage and then perform on stage for the rest of your 15. I'm like the rest of my 15 how long am i doing they're like no they booked you for half an hour mm. no I'm like yeah okay quite cool ah man you know throw me in the deep end me i can swim i know this business <clears throat> i probably belong but you know, as the opera music is going now, it sounds like soundtrack to the <laughs> death you are about to experience. I hey, bro. <laughs> I'm sitting, bro. I'm, just, I'm sitting there and I'm just saying all the prayers. Please let this just work. Let this set just be fine. Vat, vat. Ah. The building burned cool. down. <laughs> bro, hey, just just before the last, just before they do the last one, coordinator calls me over. He goes, um, what are you, what like what's your subject matter? I'm like, I'm just gonna do my jokes, why? Right? He's like, yeah, no, um, the audience is, you know, they very distinguished and uh, we'd appreciate it if you didn't like, if you kept the profanity very low. So I was like, ah, oh, no, sure, don't worry, I don't swear much anyway, so it's fine. Yeah, buy in. Now, opera clears, they cheer me the mic, I go, I'm standing there. Standing, I'm in the dark, I'm talking. There's people are giggling, people are doing nothing. Two minutes, bro, I'm in the dark. Yeah, so this is awkward because most of my jokes now are relying on what I look like and none of you can see me. I am hearing hee 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 ha but dispersed across this auditorium. Yeah. Eventually they switch the light. Eventually they switch the light on. Now I'm standing here, maybe like a meter in front of me is like a barrier, and the people are sitting here. From left to right, everybody, I'm I'm telling you, not younger than fifty. <laughs> there's about there's about eight people just sitting like it's the voice all of a sudden eight people are here in front of me <laughs> plus i'm looking i'm looking at them face by face i'm like i don't know who this is i don't know who this is i don't know who this is tabum becky huh tabum becky was there he's was the vice chancellor of unisa <laughs> mm. <laughs> anyway uh, carry on carry on carry on I'm I'm a, I'm just this is What's you, yeah? <laughs> you, yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yo, Double Beck is here. I, I say, drop a punchline. He looks at me, he goes, <laughs> he turns, he hits this move to the person next to him. I can just imagine, he's like, what? What's going on here? Uh, I, anyway, 
I'm like, let me do my damn April, do the five months. But when the lights came on, now no one's laughing because they can see who's the other pictures. But quiet. Hey, it's a punchline. Silence, punchline, silence, punchline, silence. <laughs> Look at my watch. It's been three minutes. I'm like, I must do this for seven more. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, nice nice job. Muscle through. I'm a muscle through. I'm going to do all my self-deprecation jokes now so the rest of the set is fire from the stage. I drop two more. Nothing. I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to the stage. I tell the brand the proof. Except I'm going to move to the stage now. The stage looks clear. I don't see anybody. Let me go do the thing. I walk, but now it's dark, it's dark, right? Like literally you can't see your hand in front of your face. I walk to the stairs. I'm like, please switch lights when you're by the stairs. Quiet, it's quiet. <laughs> please, can, I need to see, okay, just switch the stage on. I can make it to the stage from here. The light will bounce off everything else. I'll make it to the stage. Ah, stage goes on. I run, I spot on the stage. Cool, but now the maestro didn't take his box that he was standing on to do the, oh, yeah. the scat that he does. Instead of pushing the box out of the way, I stand on the box. I start yelling jokes. Yo! 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 You know, you know, bro, you know when you were sweating before you walked on stage? Your body's dry. From it to your mouth, your eyes, your nose. Dry! dry. Lost stage. Hey, I'm standing. Hey, <laughs> I'm standing there. Hey, bro, I did five. I'm dying. I do another five. I'm dying. Yeah, it's not even 20 minutes yet. It's like 16, 17 minutes. Plus, I'm looking around the room. Can't see anyone. I'm like, ah, no, it's fine. I'm dying. No one's seeing this. It's fine. Ah, cool. Yeah, just before the end of my set, they say, auditorium lights on. Bro, there wasn't a single, single, apart from me, no young person in the room. I think I brought the room's age average down to like 56. <laughs> Everybody in the room, gray. Everybody in the room in a suit or a fancy dress. It's just, just me dying on stage. I, anyway, I say, ladies and gents, you've been amazing. <laughs> my name is, I switch the mic off. I walk out, don't even say my name. I cheer the coordinator, straight to the car, jump in, start, sit down. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, Dude. you know when you drive, you know, no, no, you know that, okay, when you're driving and you're like, that joke is funny, man. Yeah. That joke worked. I did that joke yesterday. That joke was... How much am I <laughs> You know when you want to you phone the person to be like, say, look, you know, before they tell you, just, you can pay me, you can pay me at least 50% less. <laughs> just keep, keep the money. It's fine. Tell, tell them it's fine. Tell them I say it's, it's no, they don't have to pay for that. It's I'm reciting poetry for them, bro. I don't went full Kanye. Sure. You just go full Kanye. Like, you know, just go full Kanye. Sure. Nobody bro. Been, try to do. I've done a government gig, man. I've done a few government gigs, and they all ended up the same like that. I got the one gig I did, I was stuck in a corner with a mic that the, the cable could only fit in the corner. So I couldn't see the people. <laughs> they could only see off. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the welcome. <laughs> no time. I have to like, like I have to put the mask down to tell him to show him shit. I'm like, you know when you come in like you're like, yeah. And then you went like this, and I have to come to the middle of where they can't see me. And, I'm oh, yeah. the hey. and I'm talking about stick. When I say sticky now, I mean like this. <laughs> can you let me? Can you let me in the back? In the back, like, right. I'm like, you know, you, you know, you go like this here. Can you, can you let me in the back? And they're like, bro, this house is moving. Your head is taking the same. Your your body is moving, but you're not. Yeah, like, you put, you yeah. <laughs> you like a you like a you like a chicken. Your body is just. So then I did this. You know this science. While I'm standing yeah. on stage, a zebra, a zebra walk past the window. <laughs> like a zebra walk past. I'm like, this is the funniest shit I ever seen. I'm like, look at everyone, there's a zebra outside. They look outside, they're like, yeah. I'm like, you know, normally people have like a water feature. Yeah. yeah. Like 
reception that's got like a nice thing. I'm like, brother, I'm like, there's a zebra outside. I'm like, that is that is the most colored thing you could have ever gotten. <laughs> and you're like, mm-hmm. you see what you did there. <laughs> yeah, you tried, you tried. You did black and white simultaneously. We see. Look at the audit. You know, look at the audit book me. The audit book me. Who told me that this shit, the stage is legit? And I can see him sitting right in the front. He keeps going like this. He booked you for him, not for everyone. You're performing for one person. Yo, bruh, that is the worst driver. Bruh, I went to a pothole. I went, you know, you know, it's, it's worse when you go to a pothole. I can left it and I was like, oh, bruh. Was that a, a one meter cable on your mic? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, and I was going to a pry. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna pop this one shop. I'm gonna go to the pry. I'm gonna have a great time. And I'm driving to the pry, and it started raining. And it's in my box shape PM 17 inch drums, and it's raining. And an old school car, you know? Yeah. And then I hit the <laughs> pin, the pothole. I was like, see, <laughs> this is how this is going. <laughs> Stick around. <laughs> Stick around. Have something to eat. So if I'm like, okay, where's the food table? They're like, no. I'm like, oh, it's in the in the back in the in the. Okay, thank you. La 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 la. Out the door. La 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 la. To my car. <laughs> <laughs> I pass the zebra. <laughs> Fuck you, zebra. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's funny. We um, did. Wait, last, la, la, last, last gig story. Last gig story. I remember there was a gig I did with Nick, the one day with Nicholas, Nicholas Goliath. Yeah, um, I met with him in the week. I can't remember where we met, but he's like, "Say, what are you doing?" Oh, I went to the office. He's like, "What are you doing on Thursday afternoon?" I'm like, "Nah, bro, I'm doing what any kid my age would be doing, just existing and shit." He's like, "Shut, sure, you wanna?" Split the corporate with me. I'm like, I'm, I'm down. Where are we doing it? What's happening? He's like, nah, three o'clock. It's in Madrid. Uh, it's after an awards and it's going to be fire. I'm a sharp ram there. I get there that afternoon at about, what is it, two o'clock? Pull up. Nick is chilling there on the side. It's at a warehouse. It's literally outside the company's warehouse. They have a big ass stretch tent. And uh, already I'm like, yo, stretch tent. Hey, okay, like quiet. If I in, greet Nick, what's going on? Then shop, shop, shop. Cool. Yeah, the comedy starts at three. They're doing awards and then they're going to play some music for this Mensa. I told them not to, but yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm like, I right, cool. Comedy? He's like, nah, we're doing uh, an hour between the two of us. I'm like, there's no one else. He's like, yeah, I'm going to do like 20 up front. You do 20. I come back, I do another 20, and then we call it. I'm like, shop. Ah, chilling, chilling, chilling. They say awards, quarter past two. Half past two, they done with the awards. They're like, okay, cool. If you guys want to eat and get drinks, do that so long. We're going to play some music. Then we've got comedy. Ah, man, sharp, sharp, sharp. In that half an hour, the DJ played Omunia. He played... Uh, what was that song? <laughs> he played, yeah, there was a Young Sister Bettina scratch. There was Vaya Orlando. And there was another oh. bang of a song. Bangers. Four, bra, four bangers back to back. I, after that, they say, announcement. Just the announcement. Okay, guys, get back to your seats. Comedy starting. Everyone who's... Yeah. I look I look at Nick. Nick's like, don't... Yeah, Nick's like, don't worry. God. Mm, shut. We go. We're sitting there for them to introduce us. Nick says to me, don't worry. I'm going to do, do about 10, 15 up front. I'll bring you on. Be just... You can get ready so long. I'm not shut. Nick was on. Nick's doing his thing back and forth. I they with him. First two minutes, he's caught them. Five minutes, he's caught them. Out of nowhere, they just go hostile. Nick doesn't know what to do. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for your act? I'm like, whoa, bro, this hasn't even been 10 minutes. You can't just do that to me. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Brings me on. Bro, I went on, I did five. You know when you're looking for someone who's paying attention in a group of people? There were like 300 people at this game. You know when you're looking around, you're like, okay, that person's paying attention. There's a bra there paying attention. There's a oh, there, but bra paying attention. Do I just perform to them or do I engage everyone? What goes on? I, anyway, I start my set. Do my first few jokes. People are laughing. People are having a good time. Same like with Nick. Hey, at five minutes, I've lost 90% of the room. There's two Owens standing and smoking on the one side. There's one over at the back. There's one over at the bar. I do the joke. I do the joke. I look here, bra at the bar. It's downing up here. He's gone. I look to the back. Over the back is chatting to a cherry. He's gone. 
last two weeks starting in the Kauai, I like I can see on their faces they're like, "Yo, this isn't going well." I'm like, "Okay, cool. I'm going to finish on a bang of a joke." I say bang of a joke. No response. It's that they start chanting, "Bring back the DJ. Bring back the DJ." <laughs> that is Jens Eric Hansen. Oh wait, I buy. Nick goes back on. Nick is sitting with a 40 for a 40 minute. <laughs> Nick does 10. They start chanting, "Bring back the DJ." Yeah. <laughs> Nick is like, "Hey, guys, do you want to hear some jokes or do you want to hear the DJ? Biggest mistake in unison. DJ. It's like." I right, cool, can't fight with that. DJ, we vibe, we speak to the coordinator, they're like, yeah, no, we really thought the comedy would work and bring them together, but um, that's fine. You guys, you guys tried. Like, we tried? <laughs> that's the what worst. Even, are you going to pay us? Because this sounds like we, we're docking you for what just happened here. Yeah. Right, anyway, we vibe, Nick looks at me, Nick goes, um, no one needs to know what happened here. If anyone asks, we killed. I'm like, oh, <laughs> 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 like yo, <laughs> drove, home, drove home with music bang because we're like we're not gonna be focused about that shit. We are yeah. gonna ignore it. Let me just get yeah, like you just like you know what, fuck it. I got a better life than this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill I'm gonna kill where they want me tonight. They at, at, at Goliath Comedy Club. I'm gonna go smash it, and then I die that night. Also, it was a beautiful day. It was a beautiful, beautiful <laughs> Thursday. <laughs> On you, it's like it's like it's like bigger. What is on you? You have to go home. You go home. <laughs> you go home. It's like, I like it. It's it. It just it just it's it's just there. You're like yeah. Um, bro, let's wrap. Okay. See, people are going to sleep. Let's wrap it. Nah, no stress, uh, no stress. Thanks, thanks for hanging out. Bro. Thanks for hanging oh, out. Oh yeah, man. Thanks for having me. Like I've been forgetting because I've been I've been my I've, yo, bro, I've been I've been very busy doing nothing you know you're doing a lot but at the same time you're doing nothing that's what i'm not doing nothing but it feels like i'm doing you're busy you are not productive yes i know that administration. <laughs> administration i don't even say admin anymore yeah, yeah. Admin. i'm busy with administration <laughs> that's yes. how much I'm, yes. I'm, doing, I'm doing a lot of administration so. what are you doing i i have to wake up i have to make sure people eat i have to make sure the things are done what are the things don't worry but i'm I'll doing it over. I got pulled over by the police last week, Thursday. Yeah. And my license disc was expired. And then I pulled out my license, my card. My license card was expired. And I had no number plates <laughs> on my car. Because, you know, Just I'm trying that. to be a little, little bit thuggish. But now I went full-blown thuggish. And then when you pull over, and I was like, but you got no license. Your car's not licensed. You're not licensed. You got no license plates on your car. You're just driving, boss. boss. You see, I think I was so much admin that they let me go. They must be like, bro, I can't even calculate. <laughs> <We can't. laughs> your ticket is over 5,000, but <laughs> and you right. If you bribe me now, you're going to bribe me on, is it bribe me 50, 70, 25? That's one Coke, two chickens. That's a Man, burger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now you, know, you must so... buy me a, a variety bucket and of a sharing meal from those Too much food. If you come brothers yeah. immediately, ah, bro, we all pros, man. Yeah, all come pros. on, man. We're all family, yeah. Ah. But you drive M3, you're just driving. I'm like, but we, my man. Yeah, oh, come on. Old car. This is an old, old car. <laughs> this is the company car. It's not even mine, bro. I'm just, when I was when just bringing the car back. Plate. No, when you saw no number plate, that, because you're still going with me. When you and see, broke him. You just, you know, you look like I saw his mother. You just went, you, you have no number. Nah. Even voice went into like a soft. You have no number plates. That's funny. <laughs> what do you mean? He's like, where's your number plate? I'm like, there's it right here next to me. I picked it up. I'm like, there's my number plate That's right funny. here. Man. It fell off. The car washed that pressure thing. That pressure hosed, that pressure hosed it off. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I don't want to go to jail. I'm like, I can't go to jail, cuz. Buddy, no, yeah, I, please don't don't arrest me. No, I just I just let them with a license and I went to apply for a disc and I got two way tape so I can not put my plate back on again. My plate's not going back on. They can yeah give me the rent fine. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I, I, I got I got pulled over. They check the license disc and then they must walk around to get your license. Then I just sit like this. I sit like this because obviously my mask is off in the car. I just sit like this. And then when they come to the window and they're like open. 
and then I just hit the mother. That I yeah. have COVID, okay. And they're like, hey, nah, it's fine. Go, 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 go. Oh, shit. That's a dope Because they can't check. They can't check. You just have to hit the mother. Yeah, I need that because I was still yeah. I was still clowning because every time I put on I was still clowning every time I put on the mask I was mumbling. They're like, "Brah, you have to wear the mask." I'm like, oh shit! <laughs> and they're like, "What?" They're playing games. Put your mask back on. I'm like, oh. <laughs> 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 like, what the fuck? Shit. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not doing shit. The mask makes my lips go. I can't talk with this. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> Who's not me? It's the mask. <laughs> now, but I also. I'm <laughs> uh, sneezing as I come closer. It's a two. Sorry, but you. Hey. Can't blow. Hey, can't blow. Hopefully, I'll catch up with you again and we can talk. Nah, what we didn't cover because it, cause this, that's what it's about. I just, I just want people to know who you are and yeah. we got a little bit of shit. Uh, so, oh, yeah. for people. Oh no, Eric Hansen, he's been on TV. We didn't even talk about the fact that you were on TV so much and doing all the local <laughs> soap and all the things. Next then, time, we'll, we'll cover that next time. Away. Yeah, bro, absolutely. So thanks everybody for listening in. Um, Kelly is still there. Penny said, good night. Thank you, Penny. My sister, Talisha, good night. Uh, who else? Tremaine, my cousin, who I haven't seen in a long time. Send me your number, please, Tremaine. Everybody. Everybody. And, yeah, Melanie, everybody. Yeah, it's everybody. Listening in. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'll be able to be back next week because I'm like I said, I'm running gigs, I'm running Thursday nights most of the time. Uh, maybe I'll yeah. have to move today. Uh, but thanks again, Eric. Uh, thanks again. Uh, like follow him on, on Instagram. He's gonna be it's performing just my tonight. Name. See yeah. if he's really funny or not. Uh, I've been Rishlo Bono, you've been amazing, and I'll catch up with you hopefully next week. Away. Peace and love in broadcast.